We've got our blower assembly here, chamber on the inside, um, a manometer to measure the differential pressure, and then the spray rack on the outside. Um, this, this storefront here, um, they, they built kind of different examples so we could see what might happen in the field. This is a storefront system that should have an aluminum sill flashing under it, but it doesn't. So it, it's going to leak, I can tell you that. Um, and this is going to be at the two thirds of the minimum. Uh, so around a 40 mile an hour uh, wind driven rain is what this would be simulating. And, and like I talked about inside at, at eight inches of rain per hour. So it's a pretty, pretty stringent test depending upon the condition. And we've already got, you, you can, I mean, if you want to see, it's, it's a tremendous amount of water already. I mean, this, a storefront system is designed to take in water, collect it in a sill pan flashing, and route it out underneath the system to the exterior. Without the pan, this system is just taking in water, and a tremendous amount, obviously, is, is being pulled to the inside from the vacuum, which is exactly what happens if a storefront isn't installed properly. If you put a pan under it and they don't properly seal the end dams, if their anchors down through the pan aren't properly sealed, the, this same amount of water will find that void and, and come in during a wind-driven rain. Minimum pressure for field testing of a system that has a Florida Building Code product approval. That's, that's what we would be doing here. And Sean asked about the duration. It's a 15 minute test normally. We're not gonna make you watch 15 minutes because this is about it. But um, it, it, the normal test uh, uh, duration is 15 minutes. Same construction, the only difference is it's got the pan flashing properly installed underneath it. That's collecting the water. It's draining out at the exterior face and we don't have any water leakage now at that 40 some odd mile an hour wind driven rain. Now, but, but like we talked about, a storefront system is a, is a limited type of system as far as water resistance. And if that differential pressure, or, it, or in the real world, if the wind speed gets up, you can, you can definitely get leakage. And uh, we weren't able to do this yesterday since this top joint was leaking, but take it up to like 1.92 norm. He's going to take it up to equivalent to a 10 PSF dif differential, which is more in the uh, low 60s, low 60 mile an hour wind driven rain. And we'll see, see right away, water's coming over the top of the pan. So what's happening is that 1.92 is a column inches of water. So there's almost, it's, it's pulling, it's trying to pull two inches of water into that pan that's only one inch, one inch high. So what, unless that joint between the pan and the storefront is perfectly sealed, that, that column height of water is gonna come over the top. And this is the kind of leak you would see in the real world in a storefront that's exposed to wind driven rain coming over the top of the pan here. Quite a lot of water collecting and then there's a glazing leak there also. It's around, yeah, it worked. That's good. So that, that of the type of thing that can happen in the field. And then we'll move over to the structurally glazed system. Okay, so this is the, the unitized four-sided structurally glazed uh, barrier type system. And we'll start that off at, at 15 PSF, which is equivalent to about a 76 mile an hour uh, hurricane type condition. And again, like we talked about, the water pressures never changes. It's just a differential pressure uh, based on the system and the project. This is, a, this is a 15 PSF, 76 mile an hour storm. And basically with the structural glaze system, it's a barrier system, it's either gonna leak or it's not. Because uh, really, to, until the point that you structurally tore this frame apart with differential pressure, you're not gonna have any, either you're gonna have a leak at a low pressure or you're not gonna break it up as high as it'll go north. So 
Well, something will give at some point. But, uh, all right, stop there, Norm. Stop there. Yeah, so I'd have to calculate it out exactly, but this is a probably equivalent to like a 60 PSF test and a wind speed of over 100 miles an hour. And you can see our chamber starting to uh, starting to come apart. Yeah.